In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to send your work from Premiere Pro to After Effects. With Adobe products, you can easily import compositions and integrate with other platforms. For example, over here you can see that we have a simple title composition made in Adobe After Effects. This sequence primarily consists of two text layers, which are animated in such a way that they cross each other simultaneously, while dissolving into the background. Now when we import this into Premiere Pro, it will be converted into a clip sequence. Let's see how that works. First, let's save the composition by going to the File menu on top and clicking on the Save option here. Now you can name your file and save the project. We're just going to overwrite the project on this file over here. With that done, let's open up Premiere Pro. Over here you can see that we have an underwater sequence where the intro title would fit perfectly. Now let's move to the Project Explorer area and double click there to open up the Import window. Over here we will select the file we saved earlier and click on Open. Next it will ask us which composition we would like to import. Since we have designed only one sequence, you can see only one option here named Text01. So let's select the layer and click on OK. In the Project Explorer window, you can see the newly imported sequence appearing right over here. So let's drag and drop that sequence into the timeline like so. Notice how the entire After Effect composition has been automatically converted in a single clip sequence. But if we move back to After Effects, you can see that each line is in a different layer, and there is even a separate effect layer named FX layer, which is adding glow and blur effects onto the text. So when you import this composition to Premiere Pro, there's very little editing you can do to the animation itself. That's because the animation has been converted into a clip. Now you can only position the text anywhere on the screen, change its size, and increase or decrease the speed of the clip using the Rate of Stretch tool. Now when we render the sequence, this is the output we will get. You can see that the After Effects composition has been successfully integrated with Adobe Premiere. Thanks for watching. This was a HowTech.tv tutorial.